very nice i mean look at demonetization and the gst as maybe long term hopefully we'll see some results in the long term uh coming back to the i mean uh, you mentioned about the two years how what the measures the government has taken to overcome the uh, slowness in the economy uh if you look at the beginning of the covid 19 India is the only country which has taken the drastic, I mean, our, our major lockdown, big lockdown. I mean, I mean, like I mean, large scale lockdown. I mean, uh, the reason they did it is, I mean, to make sure we, uh, our country, kind of insulate, or I, I mean, from the kind of imp- negative impacts of the COVID nineteen on our economy or on our health system and those things, which is, which was a, the thought wise is a very nice thought. okay the the uh, the results we cannot no, nobody can control the results so you understand but in spite of those kind of measures i mean uh, today in the last quarter i mean india is the one which has lost maximum uh, gdp of 23.9 which is official thing and if you look if you accept if you take the unorganized sector into the count i mean it will be more than 23.9% that's what the economists are saying it will be close to 40% of the gdp loss in the gdp for the last in the last quarter so i mean we you know, we all respect modi ji and we all love him i mean uh, he is a good leader i mean he uh, thinks good of india and good india, thinks good of the indian citizens but if you look at i mean i mean some patterns i mean he's some reason one way or the other the results are well, what are the planning is being done the results are coming in a different way so what is your view on the uh, measures taken by the government and having a negative uh, ha- hardest impact on the economy in the last quarter you, you your question is in which uh, partly true partly untrue because uh, uh, the percentage which you mentioned in first quarter it is around 24% at the climb in uh, gdp is um, uh, in organized sector and unorganized sector together the, you are uh, saying some figure around 40% but uh, these kind of uh, deprecations definitely they, when the uncertainty due to the pandemic we we we, we have it expect and uh, it is not tailor made uh, uncertainty it happened uh, accidentally it is extraordinary event these kind of extraordinary event whenever it comes these kind of uncertainties should, and challenges should be faced uh, uh, courageously and uh, we hope to come out because uh, the measures which we have we have taken is giving results let you observe that i i i mentioned uh, just a few minutes back also manufacturing pmi which was uh, worse it in april to june between 27.4 to 30.8 percent generally it should be 50 percent prior to covid it is the 55.3 percent uh, due to this uh, uncertainty and extraordinary event the manufacturing pmi which was adversely impacted due to the production which has been created constraints due to lockdown and workforce is not available uh, we know that uh, all the migrated skill chemical uh, labor has moved uh, from their uh, home places they had migrated uh, all production and uh, all kind of uh, economic activity has uh, worse effect uh, during that period now slowly if you observe after june it rises uh, initially 30 to 30.8% in july it gets 46% in august it gets 52% now it is slowly moving forward and picking up the um, uh, this uh, pmi it it is it is a positive uh, notes that means production is increasing when production is increasing pmi increases production increases means automatically employment opportunities also getting on track this is important one and then uh, you keep that point in in connection with uh, uh, gst collections also gst collection in the year april in the month of uh, april uh, it it registered 43000 crores only normally it is average 1 lakh crores uh, in may it is 70000 crores uh, average 1 lakh crore per month should be uh, registered in june it is 90000 uh, in uh, july it is 87500 crore now now 87000 crores that means uh, these figures are not satisfactory it not uh, general figure general figure should be 
around 1 lakh to 1 lakh uh, 10,000 crore per month is the uh, general figure which required to maintain GSC. Whereas uh, now, 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 around 86 to 87,000 crores we are reaching. Yeah, in, 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 the, in the month of April, it is just 43,000. So, when the economic activity is slowly picking up, uh, on the one hand, uh, uh, that uh, index, PMI index is uh, giving a positive, showing positive figures. GST also, even though not on par with the requirement, it is increasing. It is a positive sign. But we need, we need, to, we need to reach um, a further level so as to uh, function the smooth level. So these are the things happen just because of timely action by the union government, by Atmanirbar Bharat. The challenges of MSME, agriculture sector, agriculture sector has shown a positive result around 3.5% growth rate uh, due to the union government measures in Atmanirbar Bharat uh, providing uh, funds for uh, pumping the credit facility to the farmers as well as the procuring the uh, production, uh, MSP, price increase, and all those factors also fetched a lot. As far as uh, industry manufacturing and service and hospitality and entertainment is concerned, now manufacturing and SME is slowly picking up. Hospitality and entertainment traveling, these three should be come into uh, track. Uh, union government is trying to get those things into track. Uh, uh, by, uh, apart from uh, taking into consideration of econ economy, how to resolve all these issues, protection and uh, safety and security of the people are so priority, which is given by the union government. Definitely, we, 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 we want to uh, think towards uh, healthy India and healthy economy. Definitely, whatever the targets we had fixed them for 5 trillion economy, definitely it is going to be reached. Uh, we take it as an opportunity. Atmanirbar Bharat is the slogan, local and vocal. Those slogans are uh, going to play a vital role uh, for Indian economy in the next uh, uh, few years. Definitely, what measures, whatever which required, uh, are uh, already taken. We are going to take, and whatever the needs we need to take in future, also definitely we take uh, as and when it requires. Gotcha. Uh, you mentioned about the demonetization and the GST, which are kind of uh, 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 regulations, some reforms which they have, he, he brought in to uh, correct the slowdown in the economy. But I mean, when you look at, I mean, many reports, what they're saying is the demonetization is the one which has uh, put a lot of pressure on the unorganized sector. Which is, I mean, I mean, that's uh, that's also another cause. I mean, for the demo, I mean, slowing down the it has accelerated the slowdown, and and instead of uh, improving the economy, it has slowed down the economy. So, and uh, that's one point. Yeah, can you talk a little bit more about yeah. why? I mean, is it completely thoroughly a thought out process, or was there any shortfalls in the plan? Yeah, that is that is only short term impact only. When we want to make correction, definitely there should be some medicine is required for short term. Uh, those those challenges already a uh, Modi ji government has uh, faced and rectified. Uh, wherever the problems arises, those problems has addressed. My straight point is uh, not only India. Let you observe America or other parts of the world, uh, uh, in, especially European countries. Uh, whether they had taken any demontation uh, process uh, uh, in the period. Uh, when the India has the taken demontation process, no. But why their their economies get slowed down? So it is it is it is multiple effects of various issues, various factors. It is a cyclic nature uh, that that impact has uh, happened around the world, and same thing happened in India also. Uh, and GST also. Some people are telling that uh, that the, G, the implementation of GST also made adverse impact on economy. But I don't accept it because. Uh, uh, GST is a uh, very old one in many countries. Uh, uh, they had a uh, uh, practicing GST for a very long time. There is no such kind of problem. Now, GST also, when we are implementing, uh, initially to cope up the uh, practical uh, uh, adjustments and the practical alignment with uh, one state to the union government, it happened some problems. Those problems are already rectified. That, those are not at all problems now. So my 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 point is uh, uh, rather than uh, thinking economic uh, issues as uh, 
economic concepts. Uh, the, the, it is uh, politicizing by the opposition parties and uh, some media channels uh, so as to uh, raise uh, doubts among the general public. But uh, the facts are very clear that uh, I very carefully explained what was the GDP in the year 2013-14 just before the Modi ji came to the power, what is, what is happening since then and uh, what kind of uncertainty now we are facing due to the pandemic. Uh, uh, the, this pandemic is not uh, tailor made uh, by anyone. It was natural. Uh, naturally, it was uh, came with those challenges should be faced. Uh, those uncertainties should be faced. Uh, we are very much ready to face those challenges and uncertainties. Already, in Atmanirbhar Bharat package itself, uh, in our unorganized sector, how we address, how we feed the people, how we have provided uh, 500 rupees per month for each eligible family below poverty line. And these are all these are all the things which had uh, smoothened the uh, real problem actually. But, but there are problems still. Uh, I accepted those problems are addressing very carefully by the union government. Most particularly, RBI has done a tremendous job uh, uh, in this pandemic period, so as to pump liquidity wherever and whenever it is required. Uh, and uh, whenever the union government responded, RBI also positively responded. Uh, we did our best uh, according to the situation. We are trying to do better and we want to get the best results.